Hello everyone, um, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate step by step how to do live algorithmic trading using Python through interactive brokers and the coin trading tool package. Here's the uh, agenda of this video. First, we are going to set up the environment for both interactive brokers or IB and coin trading tool or QT2. Both are free and easy to install. Next, we will write an event-driven strategy in Python and configure it for live trade. Then we are ready to do live trading. This step includes live monitoring, logging, and tick data recording, three components that are very important to algo trading. Um, but if, before we start, let me throw in this disclaimer. Basically, it says um, use it at your own risk because it actually trades. Do not use real money unless you know what you are doing. Um, okay, now let's get started. First step, let's set up the trading environment. Um, Ivy offers free trial accounts. Just Google Interactive Brokers free trial and follow the uh, sign up process. IB also offers um, conditional free paper trading accounts. Uh, conditional on that you have a real money account. In this video, I'm using the paper trading account. Now, when you log into IB TWS or the uh, Trader Workstation, you will see something like this. Your window might not look exactly like mine. Uh, don't worry, because we are going to focus on only three windows here. The MVPO code window here uh, in the middle left, and order in the trade window in the bottom left. If you don't have them, just go to the menu, um, File, New Window, Code Details, that's the uh, code window, and Order Management, Orders and Trades. Now, to turn on the API, just go here, File, Global Configuration, API Settings, and turn on the Enable ActiveX and the Socket Accounts, and toggle off the read-only API, because uh, we are going to place some orders. Last but not least, um, make sure that on top right here, there's this line highlighted in red saying that this is not the um, uh, real money account. That's it for IB. Now, to install Qt2, I already published it on pip, so simply um, open a uh, command window and uh, type in pip install count trading 2 all lower cases. This will install the package. Then go to GitHub web page in the Examples folder, we're going to download some files. The first is the live engine.py. Just click it, click the low button, right click, save as, and remove the .txt extension and save it on your local drive. We'll do the same for, um, we will download the config live.yaml and uh, instrument mental, uh, meta meta.yaml and uh, two f um, sample strategies in the strategy folder. After that, your local drive should look something like this. Three files here and uh, two files in the strategy folder. And uh, we are done with the setup. Um, let's move on to Code in these uh, sample strategies with your favorite Python editor. Um, here I'm using the uh, JetBrain PyCharm. The first strategy is called order per interval strategy. It is the simplest strategy I can come up with. Yes, it had all the basic um, elements to be quantified as an event driven strategy. Event driven, roughly speaking, means every price, transaction, or market news is an event and your strategy reacts to it uh, according to some rules. 
here on tick function reacts to the tick data and places market orders every n ticks defined by the tick trigger threshold. Once it accumulates enough ticks, it will place the order and set ticks um, back to zero to restart the counting. There are a couple ways to uh, define an interval. The first and the most intuitive one is the tick bar. For example, the uh, one minute bar. You have one bar in at 930, uh, the next one at 931, and so on. Uh, the other choice is tick bar. The logic behind is to treat uh, one tick as one piece of information and uh, one bar contains the same amount of information. Therefore, you will have uh, more bars during uh, market open and uh, market close, while less bars uh, during lunch time. Here I use the uh, tick bar. It's easy to switch the, to the time bar by checking the timestamps. One line I want to uh, point out here is the print statement. Um, it prints out what this strategy sees. So every time the print, this print shows up, um, it means the strategy sees this tick data and reacts on it. Uh, please remember this because we are going to inspect it in live trading. The other important thing is a logger. It records important messages we want to know when we replay the market. Here I record tick number, which is expected to be the tick threshold, and the last trade price, which is expected to be uh, close to the market order fuel price. Just briefly goes through the other um, uh, the other strategy called moving average cross. It is a classic strategy that it uses an exponential moving average when it buys when price crosses moving average from below and shorts it with uh, crosses from above. I'm not going into the details. It demonstrates the use of limit order and uh, the importance of logging, for example, uh, to trace all the corner cases. I want to also quickly show you the config.yaml file. It controls all the strategy parameters. Here I set the initial state to false or not active, so it's not going to trade right away until you turn it on manually. And uh, we will see uh, how to do it in live trade. And I've also uh, set the tick bar threshold to 100. The symbol is e-mini um, futures because it trades out after hours. The config file is a uh, lot simple here. Um, but you will appreciate it more after you have a dozen of strategies and each has a dozen of parameters. Now we are ready to live trade and generate some PLs. This can be either an agreeable or frustrating experience, depending on what color you see on your PLs. To live trade, um, open a command window and type in Python liveengine.py. It will connect automatically to the broker and pop up this control panel. It consists of two parts. On top, it has a start strategy, stop strategy, and some other buttons. And at the bottom, a group of tabbed windows such as strategy window, order window, etc. Look at the strategy window. We have two strategies. Strategy one is the moving average, and the strategy two is the tick interval. They are both inactive right now, and uh, if you recall, it's because we set active to false in the config file. If this is the first time you use QT2, it's a good idea to do some sanity check to ensure that the system is properly set up. Imagine this TWS window is what you see and uh, this control window is what the algo sees. The purpose of sanity check is to make sure uh, these two windows are in sync. Recall that in the strategy, we added the print statement to let the strategy print out 
what it sees. Let's select the order um, interval strategy and uh, click the start strategy button and it should immediately speed out um, the tick data like here. To do the check, drag the command window side by side with the MVBO code window and uh, compare what you see in the code window and what the strategy sees in the printout. Let me unlock the TWS and drag the code window in the middle and uh, set the for example the bit size 22 23 26 and 8 um, as you can see they change order field they change together if this is also what uh, the case for you congratulations the system is properly set up now it is the time to just sit back and uh, let the computer trade for you to monitor if the algos are doing the right thing record that our tick interval strategy sends out market order when it accumulates every 100 ticks so let's wait for it to reach 100 and watch if uh, it actually sends out an order or not. Here we have 94, 99, 100. Order yes, filled. An order that's sent out. That's this order here. And then you can actually see it in the uh, control panel. That's uh, this order uh, short one note and a sell e, uh, e mini and uh, we traded at six o'clock 601 and that's this few order at, order uh, filled uh, actually we have another order is uh, 602 and uh, this is 602 here I will stop monitoring because this is a rather simple strategy and I want to show you something important uh, they are the log files in the log folder and tick file in the tick folder. While the computers trade for you, it simultaneously records the uh, logs and the uh, uh, tick data. Order filled. In the log file, you can check the market conditions. For example, if you search the order per interval here, you will see that the order is placed at the tick um, 101 and that the price is uh, 3471. The tick file records market data. Um, for example, here is the ES futures. You see the bit size is 46 lots, 46 nodes, and down to 8 nodes. Um, suggesting less interest from the side, so more, uh, so more likely the price will move down. If this was a tape, this used to be known as tape reading. I also noticed some people asking for intraday data to do backtest. Well, here you have it. Order filled. And I would argue that this is probably better in some sense than buying from data vendors because it may not be the most accurate one, but it's more pertinent to you because it is what your strategies actually observe or receive under your trading constraints. After all, not everyone collocates her strategies with direct market access. That's all for this video. To sum up, in this video, um, we set up the trading environment, wrote a trading strategy, and a live trade is strategy. We actually spend more time on um, setting up the environment and writing a strategy than monitoring the live trade. This is like the movie industry. 
you write a script, shoot a movie, and uh, by film. the time it hits the screen, your work is pretty much done. The next step for you is to write your own strategy and back test it before live trade. I hope you find this video useful to help you get started. Please feel free to leave your comments or suggestions below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.